Are you headed on a cruise sometime soon with your little one? Let me show you everything that you should have in that carry on bag next. Hey y'all, welcome to the Cruise Mom channel. I'm Robin, I'm a new mom who has been cruise obsessed for the last 20 years, here to share all of my tips and tricks for you to help plan, pack, and board a cruise vacation with your little one. Okay, so before we get to packing our carry-on bag, let's just go through the boarding process when it comes to luggage. So when you pull up to the port, whether it be in your own car or a shuttle, there are going to be port workers to help you unload your checked bags which they are gonna go ahead and load onto their little carts. And those are gonna go straight onto the ship for security screening and get sorted from there. You are not gonna see those bags until anywhere from early afternoon until maybe right before bed or even a little later. So really whatever goes in your carry-on bag, that is going to be what is available to you at all times, which is why when you have a little one, especially one who has formula and diapers and everything else like that, it is so important to make sure your carry-on bags are ready and they can support you just for the whole day. So that way you are not worried about if that bag comes early or late, you can just continue to have an amazing first day on your cruise. So let's go ahead and get into what I put in our carry-on bag for my daughter, who for reference was about nine months old at the time we went on the Carnival Sunshine for a four-day cruise. All right, you guys, let's get right into it. So we are talking about a carry-on bag for a cruise, um, traveling with a baby anywhere from about six to about 10 or 11 months. So as most of you know, you have to be at least six months old to board a cruise, so nobody's gonna be less than that. Um, some of those longer cruises across the ocean, you know, into Europe, those you might have to be 12 months. So uh, my daughter was about nine and a half months when we went on our trip. This is a, what I packed in our carry-on bag with a little revision of what I wish I would have done. So giving you guys just if I had to do it all over again, this is what would be in there. So there's not just one carry-on bag when it comes to having a baby, as most of you know, being a mom. Um, so here we have our diaper bag that's going to have sort of my go-tos. This is my normal diaper bag that I carry. Um, and then this is our beach bag that's going to have kind of just more of the things that have to be carry-on, um, but not necessarily going to be running in and out of. So that's sort of how I separate those two. And then, of course, we are going to have our really easy-to-fold umbrella stroller. Um, I'll post a little picture here of the one that we use um, and of course link everything below so so those are the three things and then also you are gonna have to carry on your pack and play so from what I have gathered on the carnival website and um, when we went is that the pack and play could not be a separate checked bag that had to be a carry-on which those suckers are pretty heavy, um, but just know that we have like a few things here and I'm gonna tell you my best hack with this infant carrier um, at the end. So we have all of our different bags and let's get started here. So what we're gonna do first is of course food. Food is the most important thing for our baby because they are not just going to the buffet like we are. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna put in our bag of course is going to be our formula or you're going to have to pack your breast milk according to the rules and regulations on the website, which I will link in the description as well. Um, so cans of formula for me is what we had at the time that my daughter was going on the cruise. I highly recommend the powdered formula over the liquid. Some people recommended liquid to me when we were going. However, that stuff is heavy and having to carry that on is rough. So you are gonna to wanna to put this in your bag. I have this just in our tote bag. Um, and when this goes through the x-ray, you're going to of course tell them that there is baby food in here. So we have our formula set to go. Any vitamins or medications that your baby needs as well. My daughter had to be on an iron and a vitamin supplement. So we're gonna put that in there as well. And then of course, if they are starting to get their feet wet with um, different foods, um, we are thinking about purees, we're thinking about teethers as well, dropping some of those in. Um, this was definitely my favorite cruising with a baby hack. As much as it would have been nice to carry my jars and my little spoon and feed her that way, um, we were always on the go, right? So these pouches, were literally the lifesaver. If we were out, you know, looking at watching a show or, you know, out at the beach, um, we were able to just give her one of these if she was feeling a snack and really tie her over. So I 
um, plan for about two to three pouches a day, um, which a four day cruise, 12 pouches, um, that definitely gives some weight to it as well. But putting those in there, um, if your baby is doing a sippy cup for a little bit of water, you wanna make sure you have that with you as well. And then of course your bottles um, that you'll be using. So I put our bottle cleaning supplies in our checked bag. I'm just bringing on, you know, if your baby's eating say, you know, four bottles a day and you wanna bring like two to three so you have nice clean ones, um, I would definitely recommend that. Um, I just felt like the cleaning kit would be just way too much to balance. So just a few bottles and, and nipples, whatever you need there is perfect. Um, so the other thing that I wanna talk about with food, and this is a reason I find a lot of people are nervous to travel. Um, I know with my daughter, when she was first born, I really didn't wanna go many places because she, I thought she needed um, warm bottles and I didn't really know how to detach myself from our plug-in bottle warmer to make that happen. This is a baby's brew and I cannot recommend this product enough. Um, my husband's cousin actually recommended it to us when we went on a family beach vacation for their child because we lugged our old fashioned warmer and she had her nice little handheld one. This thing is amazing. Um, if you're using Dr. Brown's bottles, you will need to buy the adapter to this. All you do is you have your bottle, you fill it up with your formula or your breast milk, you just screw it on, tilt it over, and then when you turn it on, there's all different temperature settings. So 98 is usually where like kind of breast milk is, but it actually goes even higher than that. So depending on your baby's preference, um, I just felt like this company made a really great product and tested it well. Um, so this is what we bought on Black Friday sale. And if you are going on a trip, whether it be a small road trip or a cruise, this guy is definitely your best friend if your child needs, you know, warm milk to um, either go to bed or just, or feel happy there and have a happy tummy. So, so that's all we're talking about in terms of food per se. Um, a lot of that I'm putting in here, I would probably put like a bottle or two in here with just like a little um, container with some pre-measured formula so it's nice and easy to just throw in. When it comes to getting water on board, personally, what felt comfortable to me um, was going ahead and getting bottles of water. So on Carnival in Royal Caribbean, I know you can order bottled water to be delivered to your room. However, we have to remember that we cannot necessarily get to our rooms the minute we board if we have an early boarding time. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you can just go ahead to the bar, just buy a bottle of water. I don't know how much it costs these days, uh, but that way you have it for your formula that you need. So that is sort of how I covered baby feeding, um, why we were going on board. Remember, you need to have your baby food in your carry-on and tell them that you have it in there. So next thing, of course, we have is just keeping our baby clean, dry, and happy. Um, for me, I wanna bring about four to five diapers what I kind of assume is maybe my ch uh, checked bag, it may not arrive to the room until after dinner. So you really wanna be prepared with as many diapers and food that you may need until your baby is ready for bed. So for me, about four to five diapers, wipes, cream, all going in our normal bag. And then these are my favorite thing. I learned this from the NICU, <laughs> um, but these are actually like, puppy pee pads for small dogs. Again, I'll link these from Amazon. They come in like a pack of 100, they're amazing. And I love having these when I'm changing her, even if it's like on a changing table or just somewhere where I have some space. Um, these guys are so great. So I always have these with me um, just to make sure that her tush is somewhere nice and clean and dry. And then of course, we are gonna have just a couple sets of outfits. I recommend having just two changes of clothes because you never know what's gonna happen. And then also making sure we have a hat because it is gonna be probably sunny depending on what cruise you're going on and make sure you have your suntan lotion so you can keep your baby skin nice and safe. Um, from there, just a couple of toys. Think easy to clean when it comes to cruises. I made the mistake of bringing a couple like stuffed animals and fuzzy toys and it's like, you know, she was throwing them all over and I was like, oh, I'd hate to give these back to her. Think easy to clean so you can take your wipes and just wipe them off, 
give them back to her and keep repeating. So you want to have a couple things just to keep them entertained. For me, my daughter was like so enamored by everything going on, just like her mom on a cruise. Um, so she was fine without it, but just wanted to put it out there. Um, and then really, I'm trying to think what else. That is pretty much it in terms of baby. Um, and then this is my absolute favorite hack. So we thought our daughter would be in the stroller most of the time, right? And we realized that she is such a people watcher and she it was just better to keep her close to us than like navigating everything with the stroller as we were on board. So having a baby carrier, literally game changer for us. So we actually ended up, we had her in the stroller, we did check in. And then when we were waiting to get on the boat, we actually switched her over to the carrier. And then that way we were able to load this bag and then the pack and play on top of it on the stroller and then push that on. And that was definitely a game changer and probably the best thing when it came to having to figure out the whole boarding the, the cruise ship type of thing. And then, of course, you want to make sure that you have your documents as well. Um, so, you know, any cruise documents that you need, your boarding passes, um, your passports, of course, and your wallets with you. We brought a cell phone charger for ourselves, our sunglasses. And then, of course, um, some cruise lines, actually most of them, allow you to bring wine and sometimes canned sodas on board. So if that is something you're interested in, again, remember it has to be on your carry-on. So you're going to be toting that thing around until your stateroom's ready. Um, you can do that as well. We just brought one bottle and of course we already had our whole tote bag full of stuff for her. So it was pretty easy to just set on board. This is a jet bag. I love this thing. Again, I will link it. It just makes me feel so much better. You just put your wine in here and then you just zip it up. And this is actually absorbent enough that if that wine bottle were to break, it can absorb the entire bottle of wine in here. So this is great for that. Also, if you are traveling, say you have to fly to the port and then get on the cruise, this is also an amazing, amazing product. So love that. And then that would go in this carry on tote as well. So guys, that is really how I would get on the cruise with our little one. Like I said, we did it when she was about nine and a half months old. It is all about just having your things and then just kind of playing with it and, and teasing, teasing things out, switching who has baby, who's carrying. Um, but this was actually pretty easy to get on board. We felt very comfortable with it. And really the best part about it was we had priority boarding and we had early stateroom access, which I will definitely be talking about shortly. And kind of in a whole nother video, Carnival has a program called Faster to the Fun. And I would highly recommend it if you're going with a little one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited to bring you more cruise videos just like this. If you have anything that you definitely want to see or questions that you need answered, feel free to put a comment below or email me below as well. See you guys soon.